Hi everyone, my name is Arlene Beret and I'm a student of Miss Charmaine Cortez in the German language. I was working before in Dubai, now I'm already in Germany and I just want to share a little story of my journey in learning the language. So I started to learn the language during pandemic in 2020. Maybe we started um, June. The first thing that you have to think is why Germany, why you want to learn the language, what is the main reason why you want to go to Germany. Uh, so for me, um, I have my personal reasons why I want to go to Germany. And this helps me to be motivated every time I feel down, every time I want to stop, every time I want to give up in learning the language. Because to be honest, the German language is not an easy language to learn. So there are some words, there are some phrases which doesn't have any explanation at all. And as what Miss Shami said, you just have to learn it by heart. And yeah, and so far I think I've, I was able to apply it and um, I was able to make it. So um, I was very thankful that Miss Shami can explain the, the um, sentence construction on how to pronounce the words, how to pronounce the, the um, letters, the numbers in German um, in Tagalog. And yeah, um, and bira ka lang makita and bira ka lang makamit ng someone um, that could understand your difficulties while you're learning the language. Um, and Miss Shami was able to sense it na when we and me and my classmates were down and we are like, we, we want to give up. And it helped me to push more um, when Miss Shami told me, um, what is the first reason why you started to learn the language? So it's like, a restart, a refresher for me na I have to move on. I have to move further para para to succeed. So I was very thankful to Miss Shami. And another factor that can help you to learn more and faster is with your classmates. So it really helped me um, to be excited in learning the language because I'm not alone. Um, and um, my classmates are helping me. They are helping me. We're helping each other. Every time may mga things na mga words na hindi namin ma-explain. And we have classes that we miss because while we are studying online, um, we are also working. So, sobrang hirap. But then, this should not be a hindrance for you to stop. Kasi, um... Sinimulan mo na, once sinimulan mo na, it's like there's no turning back and masasayang, masasayang yung time, time na nilaan mo, time, and yung efforts mo to achieve another goal. So for me personally, um, it is amazing if you know another language, a different language besides English. So um, yun, parang inisip ko na din na one of my bucket list. And... So during our class, I was very shy. Um, hindi masyado ako nagpa-participate, hindi ako masyadong nagbabasa, or I even rarely ask questions because I'm shy. But it should not be like that. Kasi once, pag wala kang minimihan, better to ask it immediately. Kasi how would you learn if you will just keep quiet? And that doesn't help you at all. So, yeah. And um, I know you will feel pressured um, within the course. Um, learn to take a break. So if wala nang pumapasok, it means you have to take rest. And that is also important. And um, I pray. Yeah, I, I really pray. I prayed for guidance during my exam na to be calm, to be confident and yeah, I I was able to pass my exam in one take like the reading, listening, writing and speaking. So it's a, a miracle for me and now I'm already here. I am very blessed. So um my advice to you is um work hard for it. You 
can achieve it. If kaya ko, kaya nyo din. Practice, practice, practice. So, that's it. Um, I hope I was able to inspire you to come here in Germany and learn the language. Life is better here. Um, especially for nurses. There are a lot of opportunities. You can travel. Good benefits for yourself, for family. Even if you're single, unmarried, you have kids, you're a single mom. All of it. So, Good luck to you guys and I hope I could see you here in Germany. Tschüss!